हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अवर ऑनलाइन एजुकेशनल वीडियो चैनल लास्ट कुछ लेक्चर से हम डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम के बारे में डिस्कस कर रहे हैं इस बार भी हम डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम के बारे में बात करेंगे एज फार एज द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इज कंसिडर वी सेट दैट अवर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इज एंगेज इन द डाइजेशन वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस दैट दिस डाइजेशन इज ऑफ टू टाइप मैकेनिकल डाइजेशन एंड द सेकेंड वन केमिकल डाइजेशन सो थ्रू आउट द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम डाइजेशन का काम हर एक ऑर्गन को करना है जो कि डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम में इन्वॉल्व है सो एज फार एज द मैकेनिकल डाइजेशन इज कंसिडर आवर माउथ इज इन्वॉल्व वेर देर इज एक्चुअल हैमरिंग ऑफ टीथ ओवर द फूड पार्टिकल इन ऑर्डर टू कन्वर्ट द लार्ज पार्टिकल साइज ऑफ फूड पार्टिकल इन टू द स्मॉलर पार्टिकल एंड द रिमेनिंग टाइप ऑफ द डाइजेशन नोन एज अ केमिकल डाइजेशन हैज टू बी टेक्स प्लेस थ्रू आउट द ट्रैक ऑफ एलिमेंट्री कैनल एलिमेंट्री कैनल में आगे चल के केमिकल डाइजेशन होने वाला है एंड दिस केमिकल डाइजेशन टेक्स प्लेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ सेवरल एंजाइम सिक्रेटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सर्टन सिक्रेशंस ऑफ द एलिमेंट्री कैनल सो सर्टन सिक्रेशंस वी गॉट इंट्रोड्यूस इन माउथ सलाइवा वेयर सलाइवरी अमाइलेज इज प्रेजेंट इन माउथ अगेन अनदर एंजाइम इज प्रेजेंट लिंग्यूअल लाइफ इज इट इज द एंजाइम being present over the tongue and lingual lipids is responsible for the breakdown of fats amylase is responsible for the breakdown of the starch means this is what the chemical digestion chemical digestion takes place with the help of enzymes secreted through the alimentary canal secretions or the enzymes present in the alimentary alimentary canal secretions then as, as soon as the food particle enters into the stomach it thereby get mixed with the another secretion known as a gastric juice where the digestive enzyme pepsinogen is present which come in contact with the acidic environment gets converted into the active form known as a pepsin and pepsin is a proteolytic enzyme we know very well when the food material next one enters into the duodenum within the duodenum it is mixed with the pancreatic juice pancreatic juice ke sath mix kiya jata hai नंबर ऑफ एंजाइम्स वेयर फाउन टू बी प्रेजेंट इन अ पैंक्रेटिक जूस इसके इसके पहले जो वीडियो हम लोग डिस्कस कर चुके हैं वहाँ पे हम लोग देख चुके हैं कि वाट आर द नंबर ऑफ एंजाइम्स वाट आर द नंबर ऑफ एंजाइम्स प्रेजेंट इन द पैंक्रेटिक जूस डिओडिनम में दो तरह के सिक्रेशन आते हैं एक पैंक्रेटिक जूस सेकेंड वन बिलेरी जूस और द बाइल सो नंबर ऑफ जूसेस आर सिक्रेटेड नंबर ऑफ सिक्रेशन आर सिक्रेटेड इन टू द एलिमेंट्री कैनल and the last juice or the last secretion that we have discussed for today's lecture it is intestinal juice so this is going to be a last uh, discussion as far as the alimentary canal is considered so this video is going to be a last video as far as our alimentary canal is considered after that one definitely we will prepare the certain videos explaining about the digestion of carbohydrate fats and proteins and their absorption means how exactly their digestion and absorption takes place within the our body or within the digestive system that will be discussed but as far as this video is considered it will be restricted within the intestinal juice where we will get introduced to the intestinal juice what is its composition and we will also get introduced to the functions of intestinal juice as far as this intestinal juice is considered the name is itself indicate it has to be secreted by the small intestine and we have got introduced to the structure of small intestine where we said as far as the mucosa the large number of modifications are present towards the mucosa of small intestine we said the large number of circular folds are present villi are present microvilli are present and in between this villi in between this villi at the below surface in between this villi at the below surface the special glands are present and these glands are known as the intestinal glands these glands are known as the intestinal glands aur yahi wo glands hai ki jo secrete karenge intestinal juice so these are the glands that may secrete the intestinal juice so intestinal glands continuously secrete intestinal juice into the lumen of small intestine what does this intestinal juice is made up of what are the composition of intestinal juice and the functions of this intestinal juice that we have to discuss as far as the intestinal juice is considered its color is considered it is clear to pale yellow 
it is alkaline in nature means its ph is greater than 8 and it is a watery secretion about 1500 ml to the 2000 ml of pancreatic juice sorry intestinal juice is secreted per day by the intestinal gland into the lumen let us study the composition so the very first composition as being liquid in nature as being fluid in nature the very first composition that should be as usual water and this time it is 98.5% of water is present in the intestinal juice it is followed by the mucus and we know very well the mucus is secreted by the goblet cells goblet cell intersperse in between the epithelial cells columnar epithelial cells of villi which are known as enterocytes means in between the enterocytes enterocytes ke beech mein goblet cell situated hai and goblet cell secrete also the mucus and that also become a part of intestinal secretion or the intestinal juice so the very first two components are there water and mucus and almost we found that these two components are common in every juice means when we studied about the gastric juice when we study about the pancreatic juice these things are common as far as the secretions are considered so very first component of the any juice that should be water and the second one should be mucus certain inorganic constituents are found to be present and what are these inorganic constituents these are certain cations and anions so what are the cations and anions you remember it may be sodium potassium calcium magnesium chloride bicarbonate phosphates are found to be present as a inorganic constituent in intestinal juice another one it consists of organic constituent this time this organic constituents are nothing but these are the number of enzymes that are found to be present within the intestinal juice so let us remember these enzymes so what are these enzyme it consists of several peptides next one it consists of amylase it consists of lipase it consists of maltase sucrates and lactase and the last one enterokinase all these enzymes are present within the intestinal juice as a organic constituent so be remember as far as the examinations are considered the question over the intestinal juice will be explain or enlist the composition of intestinal juice or enlist the functions of intestinal juice there are very few chances that the question can be asked over the intestinal juice but as far as the multiple choice questions are considered there are various chances that the questions can be asked as a multiple choice question as far as this uh, this topic is considered so the question in the form of mcq can be asked with respect to the function of this enzyme what is the function of this enzyme it can be asked what is the function of amylase or which one of the following is the function of lipase which one of the following is the function of maltase such a question can be asked but if a question is asked for the two marks it could be asked in the form of enlist the composition of intestinal juice so we should prepare in that way if the question is asked for the two marks and we should ultimately prepare if the question is asked as a multiple choice question so now we are familiar with the intestinal juice intestinal juice is nothing but the watery secretion alkaline secretion clear to pale yellow secretion secreted by the intestinal glands and these intestinal glands are present in between the villi at the below surface of the villi and now we got familiar with the composition let us move to the next part of the intestinal juice and then nothing but the function what are the various function so whatever the function has to be carried out by the intestinal intestinal juice it is just by means of the number of enzymes present within the intestinal juice so being the presence of several peptides the intestinal juice is involved involved in the splitting of peptides into the amides so the peptides present in the intestinal juice is responsible for splitting the peptides into the amino acids we know very well the proteins are made up of the amino acids and these amino acids are linked together by the peptide bonds so these peptides are broken down into the amino acid with the help of another enzyme sorry with the help of enzyme peptidase another enzyme is the amylase and now we are very well known to the function of amylase because of what this amylase was also found to be present towards the saliva at that time it was known as a salivary amylase 
This amylase was also found to be present towards the pancreas. At that time, we called it as a pancreatic amylase. And now it is present in the intestinal juice as well. Now it is known as the intestinal amylase. Now what is the function of this amylase? It doesn't matter whether it is a salivary, pancreatic or the intestinal. It has to carry out its unique function. And that is nothing but it splits the starch to the maltose. Starch to the maltose means the polysaccharide starch is broken down into the disaccharide maltose. Means eight, the digestion of carbohydrate is not over with the help of amylase. Next one, lipase. The name itself indicates lipase stands for the lipids. So the lipids, the triglycerides and the fats are broken down into the lower glyceride, fatty acids and glycerol with the presence of enzyme lipase. Another enzyme is the maltase. The name itself indicates it splits the maltose into the glucose. So amylase carry out the conversion of starch to maltose and the remaining digestion is carried out with the help of maltase where the maltase split the maltose into the glucose and once your carbohydrates are broken down into the glucose now it can be said that your carbohydrates are ready for the absorption means the monosaccharide only the monosaccharides are there that can be absorbed through our intestinal mucosa or through the alimentary canal mucosa so glucose once get converted uh, so carbohydrate once get converted into the monosaccharides are said to be ready for the absorption. Another one lactase and sucrase the name itself indicate the lactase converts the lactose into glucose sucrase converts the sucrose into the glucose means they split out in short they split out the saccharides into the monosaccharide. And another enzyme present the last enzyme present it is an enterokinase. This enterokinase is said as a non-digestive enzyme. What is this? Non-digestive enzyme. It doesn't have any role in the digestion. It doesn't break down any carbohydrate, fat or protein. But this is an enzyme present in the intestinal juice. What is it is said? It is said as a non-digestive enzyme. So what is its role? Its role is what? It is the activator of trypsinogen. What is this trypsinogen? When we studied about the pancreatic juice, we said that chymotrypsin and trypsin are present in the pancreatic juice. But this chymotrypsin and trypsin are not present. Actually, they are not present in the pancreatic juice. So generally, their precursors are present in pancreatic juice. So in pancreatic juice, trypsinogen and the chymotrypsinogen are found to be present. Further, this trypsinogen is converted into trypsin and chymotrypsinogen is converted into the chymotrypsin. So the conversion of trypsinogen, inactive enzyme precursor in pancreatic juice, inactive enzyme precursor, trypsinogen is present in pancreatic juice. So that conversion of trypsinogen into the trypsin is carried out with the help of enzyme enterokinase. So enterokinase is an enzyme which is known as the activator of trypsinogen. So trypsin trypsinogen is an inactive enzyme precursor of trypsin. So it gets converted into active form with the help of enzyme enterokinase. And once this trypsinogen is converted into trypsin, the trypsin itself acts as a catalyst to carry out the conversion of chymotrypsinogen into the chymotrypsin. So as far as we said that our video will be restricted towards the composition and function of intestinal juice. So that's all as far as today's video is considered. If you found this video is beneficial for you, do not forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you very much.